What up guys, Malong6 here, and uh, welcome. Sorry, I still need to, uh, well, decorate a little bit. Um, still moving in, but I wanted to share with you guys the D app and how to connect a Gnosis node and validator. You guys know that I got the D app and I unboxed it recently and I got the hopper edition and it came with some hopper tokens. And if you're wondering why I have two boxes, then definitely watch the other video. All right. So what we're going to be doing in this video is, is that set up the node, the Gnosis node and then set up the validator which will allow you to start earning coins and you will need at least one Gnosis coin GNO in order to uh, set up a validator also guys please do not forget to use my code at matlong6 to get 75 euros off of your dapp node order or use the link in the description I would really appreciate it because it shows support for the channel anyways guys let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously connect to your dapp so you can see here it says no connection I have not set up the VPN yet if you guys would like a video on how to set up the vpn please let me know in the comments down below so let's go ahead and connect to dapp node wi-fi now do keep in mind guys that if you're using an ethernet cable plugged into your computer then it, you may run into some issues you need to be on wi-fi in order to connect correctly at least in my experience so you can see here we are now fully connected and we have gone to the website to connect to the dapp node uh if you need it link will be in the description and and the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our stakers over here and then click Gnosis chain. So uh, here you'll see everything you need to do and I'm just going to give a quick brief summary of all the options real quick. The execution client is what actually execute all of the things we know and love on a blockchain like smart contracts and does the actual transfers and everything while the consensus client basically coordinates everything and make sure everything's running smoothly and verifies that everything is correct before the execution actually happens and then the remote signer is going to be more of your user interface and uh, where you're going to control all of your stake in your validator and you can see a lot of the stuff happening there'll be keystrokes and stuff that we're going to be talking about later so you will need one execution client one consensus client and then the remote signer and that creates one node and once your node is fully synced and you've staked one genos token that is when you have a validator and then you're able to earn rewards so now that i gave you like a simple understanding of what's going on here without getting too technical the first thing we're going to need to do is put in our default fee recipient which is going to be you you're the recipient so let's go ahead and show you how to do that you need to get your gnosis address which you should have already had because you had to give it to dap node uh earlier so what you're going to need to do is open up metamask or whatever your gnosis address is and by the way guys if you don't know how to set up metamask i made a video just for you in case you need to so let's go ahead and go to our gnosis and copy now quick tip if you don't have Gnosis already added go ahead and click add network and then add a network manually and then you can type in this information that you see here so after you've copied your address go ahead and just paste it here so after you've done that you need to choose everything so you have to choose this execution client because it's the only one and for consensus it doesn't really matter i'm going to choose lighthouse um, you guys can choose whatever you want. It is highly suggested to turn on check sync. Um, this will make it a lot easier to uh, switch between consensus layers later in the future if you would like to. Uh, I think some consensus layers use more CPU, some use more RAM. Just choose one and then later you can change it if you would like to. And then go ahead and make sure that you select remote signer here. Once you have all three selected, scroll down and make sure you hit apply changes and then click continue. Then I'll give you some disclaimers and stuff. Go ahead and read through this and then click continue and there you go it's setting new staker configuration here right now so i'm going to go ahead and let this finish and i'll be back with you shortly 
So if we go over here to packages, you'll see what has already been downloaded. You'll notice that we still need the signer to be downloaded, which is the biggest of all of these. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that to be done. And I'll be back with you shortly and I'll let you know how long it took me to download everything. So there you go. It took maybe five minutes to install, but it just appeared right here. So while we're waiting for this to fully sync, we can go ahead and claim our key stores. So in order to do that, you're going to want to go over to this website on GitHub. And while you're here, you want to make sure that you're downloaded the most up to date as well as whatever uh, software your computer uses like windows or mac you download it for the correct one so uh, this is called the gnosis wagyu key generator i believe um no idea how to pronounce that and basically it's going to help you generate some key stores so that way you can put them in your validator to prove that you are the owner of the validator what you're going to want to do is make sure you have the latest one you aren't downloading one of these down here and if you scroll down here make sure you download one for your computer so here's one for mac and here's one for windows 64. so after downloading it it's actually suggested to go ahead and disconnect from the internet only for your personal security reasons it's not required but it is suggested so i'm just going to go ahead and do that now so now that i'm disconnected let's go ahead and open this up and what you're going to want to do now is create a new pneumatic recovery phrase so as you can see here it's very important to keep both your secret recovery phrase and your validator keys safe and secure hide them somewhere secure like I'll probably print it out and hide it where I keep my social security number or something like that just keep it secure even in a vault because if someone gains access to these things then they could actually take over your validator node and start earning rewards uh, instead of you earning the reward so let's go ahead and click create so here is your secret recovery phrase make sure to copy it print it out right now if you need to and one way you could print it out is by taking maybe a screenshot something like that if you need to um, and then print your picture whatever works so after you've written them down or you printed it or something like that, go ahead and click next. And then it will remind you to make sure that you do indeed back these up. And once you have, click on sure. And now it's going to ask for you for the recovery phrase that it just showed you because it wants to make sure that you did indeed save these and that you save them correctly and you can spell them correctly and stuff like that because it is really important. So I'm gonna go ahead and type all these out now. All right, so I have everything typed in. Let's go ahead and check, make sure I did it right. Looks like I did. So now you need to create your keys. So the number of new keys, how many keys would you like to make? We are having four validators, so you will need to do this four times. And then password, you're gonna be creating a password. So go ahead and create a password. And then your ETH withdrawal address. So make sure to copy and paste your Ethereum address from your MetaMask or whatever you use and place it here and then after that it's going to have you double check that you know your password and then click next after that we need to choose a place where to save your keys and save sweet let's go ahead and click create now one thing that you should consider doing is if you ended up taking a screenshot of your secret words after you printed them out or whatever you did with them you might want to delete that screenshot so there you go everything's good everything's created you can go ahead and close this so once you're done generating keys go ahead and connect back to your dap node so you can see we're still syncing here however we have our key stores now so what we are able to do is go to our stakers go to gnosis chain and then upload our key stores and from here we can click import and then drag and drop the key stores that you just downloaded so you should have created four of them so let's go ahead and take all four of these and drag and drop them here next you're gonna have to type in your password you set earlier and then use password for every file use the same recipient for every file if I'm assuming that's what you want. And then use the same tag for every file. I'm assuming that's also what you want. So let's type in our password and then copy and paste your Gnosis address here. 
And then if it asks you for a staking protocol, go ahead and select solo. And then down here, it says for slashing protection data. Don't worry about this unless you're migrating your key stores from a different validator to this validator. So we can go ahead and turn that off and then submit key stores. So it's importing right now. And there you go. All of it has been imported. Let's go ahead and close. So there you go. All your key stores are now in the validator and you are ready to uh, deposit your Gnosis coins into your validator. So that way you can start getting rewarded. Okay, guys. So it took about six hours for everything to fully sync. But now that we finally have, we can go on over to the Gnosis beacon chain deposit and make sure you connect your wallet. So uh, now that you've connected your MetaMask wallet that holds the uh, Gnosis coins, we're going to need to deposit it. By the way, guys, if you need to know how to buy Gnosis coins and whatnot, I plan on making a video in the future on how to get coins over to the Gnosis chain. Anyways, what we're going to need to do now is to uh, upload that deposit underscore data file. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now it's validated. And there you have it. Now it says you have an unsignificant balance. You have zero Gnosis, but require four. So uh, let me show you how to deposit real quick. Now do keep in mind that at the time of recording, Gnosis does not allow you to withdraw your earnings nor the initial deposit. So uh, keep that in mind before you run your own Gnosis validator. And uh, in the future, I believe they're going to allow you to uh, withdraw your rewards. So uh, I will do my best to let you guys know during the monthly live streams whenever they make that change. All you're going to need to do is make sure that you deposit at least four Gnosis coins into your MetaMask wallet or whatever you have connected to this website. And then you're going to need to deposit it into the validator. Then that will bring you up to a similar page like this where you will need to agree to some terms like I understand that, that I will not be able to withdraw my funds if I lose my pneumatic phrase which is why I told you to make sure that you know for a fact that you kept track of all those secret words that we talked about earlier so we understand that so what is slashing risk slashing risk would be your rewards are slashed cut in half if say your node was unplugged or it was disconnected from the internet you could get slashed which means you'll earn less rewards but usually you can build back up to a better rate as long as you just keep a healthy node keep it plugged in connected to the internet and then you should be fine and then i understand that this transaction is not reversible so what, what that means is at the time of recording gnosis has not allowed people to withdraw out of their validators so once you become a validator uh you're set there until maybe in the future they might change that but right now uh once you become a validator you'll always be a validator uh but and you'll always be rewarded for running the validator as long as you have a good health of a node and not many slashes anyways let's go ahead and click ok and finalize this deposit into our node now also guys make sure that you're not being fished in to accidentally give away some gnosis coins or whatnot uh, do keep in mind that there are scammers out there in the crypto world trying to scam you. So one thing I want to caution you guys about scammers is that they're everywhere. There are people impersonating uh, DAP node like this right here. You can see DAP node DAO token on XDAI. This is a fake scam token. This is not official from dap node at all so after i was done setting up the validator for some reason i received these coins that we were just talking about and i don't know why someone's just scamming they are sending people coins and hope that someone will take these coins interact with the coins and then they're hoping to manipulate a smart contract in such a way that they are able to steal all the money inside of your wallet so guys definitely keep things like this in mind if you do not recognize a coin make sure you contact whoever they are representing in some cases like you'll see in this video that i made 
they are just playing out scams entirely they aren't even trying to represent anyone at all so in this case what i did to make sure if this coin was real or not i went to the dap nodes discord i sent a link to the coin and i sent them the contract address and said hey i just received some of these do you know anything about it and they said stop do not interact with that coin that is a scam coin and they are in the middle of investigating right now to see what they are able to do to fight off off these scammers anyways guys stay safe out there and let's continue on with this video so definitely keep in mind guys that this is the only website you should be depositing funds into your node not any other website at all link in the description for it as well as the help guide if you need further help so anyways let's go ahead and click ok and now confirm the transaction in your wallet let's do that real quick so it looks like it's going to be less than one cent of a gas fee let's go ahead and confirm well there you guys have it it is deposited and if you go over to validator status you can upload that file again and you can see that your validator is still being initialized. So that means that it's not yet ready uh, to earn rewards and such. And then you may notice that you have more than one here. If you actually click one of these, you can actually see your validator on the blockchain. And I think this is where you can also control some things. And here you can also see not only your deposits, but you can also see all your slashings. You can sync it and stuff. This is actually a really good source to have it. So that way you can see what your validator looks like on the blockchain. Okay, so it took about 14 and a half hours, but you can see here now that it is active. And over here on the right, you can see how much we're actually earning. So right now, I've already earned a tiny bit. You can see I've earned a few already for these blocks. So that's pretty cool that I'm already validating and earning rewards. Now, it does take some patience because we had to wait um, a little while for the nodes to sync on the DAP node, as well as for the validator to find finally be activated on the blockchain so on the monthly live streams that i've already talked about i go over how much we made per month however let's go ahead and share with you a little demonstration of how i do that so keep in mind that this is probably only about two hours of running the validator so let's go ahead and take this number how much i earned so far today for two hours and uh, you'll see up here it says that one gnosis coin equals 32 m gnosis coin so what we're going to need to do is take this number divide it by 32 so that way we can see how many gnosis coins we have and then they'll multiply it by the current value of 112 dollars which means i've earned approximately two cents right now for two hours of validating on this node and then if you connect back into your dap node you can go to your packages and then click the node and you can see that the logs are working and everything's just fine it's not telling you that there's an error or anything well anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about dap node or my gnosis validator don't forget to join the live streams by subscribing to this channel also guys subscribe to my gaming channel as well if you want to see more of my content in general guys super excited for the dap node let me know in the comments down below if i should show you guys how to set up the uh hopper validator or maybe how to run a mysterium node on the dap node just let me know in the comments down below guys thank you so much for watching and as always guys stay safe trade safe and God bless. Peace. Other websites and stuff trying to fish you. Other website. I didn't win a bid on eBay.